Welcome back everyone to Tech Solutions, your trusted destination for practical Linux and Windows tutorials. In today's video, we'll be exploring the latest release of Zorin OS 18, which is based on Ubuntu 24.04 LTS Noble Numbat. This new version brings updated software, a more refined desktop experience, and better hardware compatibility. However, before we begin, it's important to note that this upgrade process is unofficial and should be done at your own risk. Make sure you have a complete backup of your important data before proceeding, as system upgrades can sometimes lead to unexpected issues if not handled carefully. Now let's get started with the upgrade. I'm currently running Zorin OS 17.3, which is based on Ubuntu Jammy Jellyfish. As you can see on the screen, the system information shows the Zorin OS version and my current Linux kernel details. To begin the process, we'll first open the terminal. The first step is to update the package index and apply all the latest updates available for your system. This process might take a little while, depending on your internet speed and how long it has been since you last updated your system. Once the update process is complete, we'll move on to modifying the repository files. These are the configuration files that tell your system where to download software and updates from. Since Zorin OS 17 is based on Ubuntu Jammy, and Zorin 18 is based on Ubuntu Noble, we need to replace every instance of Jammy with Noble in those repository files. Instead of editing each file manually, I'll show you a single command that automatically finds and replaces all the entries for you. After running it, you'll see a list of files where the changes have been made. Once the command finishes successfully, we can verify the changes by checking the repository list again. On your screen, you should now see that all instances of Jammy have been successfully replaced with Noble. Next, we'll proceed with the upgrade process itself. We'll execute a sequence of commands to refresh the package lists, fix any broken dependencies, and perform the full system upgrade to move from Zorin OS 17 to Zorin OS 18. Follow each step carefully and don't skip ahead, as this process may take some time and could involve a couple of reboots depending on your system. Once the upgrade finishes successfully, we'll return to confirm the results.
Welcome back. As you can see on the screen, by running NeoFetch, the system now shows that Zorin OS 17.3 has been successfully upgraded to Zorin OS 18, along with the newest Linux kernel. Everything works smoothly without any major issues. To enhance your experience even further, I recommend installing the Zorin OS desktop package. This will provide you with the full Zorin desktop environment and ensure smoother performance and better system integration. Once installed, simply run the final cleanup commands and reboot your system. And that's it. Zorin OS 17 has been successfully upgraded to Zorin OS 18 Noble Numbat. This is currently the only detailed guide available on the internet for performing this upgrade, so if it helped you, please show your appreciation with a like and subscription to Tech Solutions. It really helps support the channel and keeps these practical tutorials coming. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.